March was an absolutely brutal month for airports everywhere. We're no exception. And coming off the busiest year in three decades and tracking for another banner one, it's really tough. I talked with the head of Syracuse's Hancock International Airport this afternoon, who says their biggest worry is still to come. If you just look at the last two weeks, week to two weeks of March, that was down about 90%. So that's what we're seeing continuing. That's why March March is bad, but we're, uh, we're, our plan has always been that April and May were gonna be the hardest months for us. And we're planning for, and what we're seeing right now is about 90 to 95% drop in passenger traffic. Which is why the TSA security checkpoint in Syracuse that had been seeing about 4,000 travelers a day as recently as last month is now handling about 100 to 150 passengers all day. It's definitely quiet, um, and uh, you know the hustle and bustle that we usually have here at the airport. It's it's gone. It's significant. I mean, it's there's there's no other way to say it. It's it's you, you, you can't prepare for this because nobody could have ever probably expected this. The airport did just receive nearly 13 million dollars from the Federal CARES Act package. About two million will be used for the local share of already FAA approved and funded airport projects. The money will also go towards equipment replacement, especially for snow removal, as well as just the basic day-to-day -day operations of running the airport. So that's the plan, but we're, we're definitely going to be using it to make sure that we keep the place running and that we're in a position to really accept the carriers when they all start coming back and, and provide that avenue for a, a quick recovery if we can. And in the meantime, Hancock is also making repairs to its parking garage and lots, which right now are seeing only about a total of 100 cars at a time.